Let's take a look at how to solve two-step linear inequalities. They ask us to solve for h, and we have 1 plus 3h is less than 1. So keep in mind, solving an inequality is the same process as solving an equation, except for one important difference. If, in the process of solving, we multiply or divide by a negative number on both sides, we have to remember to flip the symbol. Okay, so let's take this and solve for h. I have 1 plus 3h is less than 1. So when you're trying to get a variable by itself, you want to move everything else away from that variable. So I'm trying to get h alone, so I want to move this 1 to the other side. Since it's being added, my opposite would be to subtract 1. And remember, whatever you do on the left, you have to do the same thing on the right side of the inequality symbol, just like you would do the same thing on both sides of your equal sign. I'm going to cross out 1 minus 1. That leaves me with 3h is less than. And on this side, I don't want to cancel it out. I need to have some number here. 1 minus 1 gives me 0. Notice my sign stays the same because all I did was subtract h is being multiplied by 3, so my opposite or inverse is to divide by 3. Okay, well 3h divided by 3 leaves me with just h. Multiply and divide by the same number cancel out. Since we divided by a positive number, my symbol stays the same. And 0 divided by anything gives me 0. So h is less than 0. Okay, we have negative 2 plus 3s is greater than or equal to 1. And I'm trying to solve for s, so that's what I want to get by itself. So to start working towards having s alone, notice I have a negative 2 or a minus 2 out in front. My opposite would be to add 2 on both sides. On the left, that cancels out, leaving me with 3s. All I did was add, so my symbol stays the same, and 1 plus 2 gives me 3. I want s by itself right now. It's being multiplied by 3, so my opposite would be to divide by 3 on both sides. So 3 divided by 3, well, that cancels out and leaves me s is greater than or equal to, and on the other side, 3 divided by 3 gives me 1. So s is greater than or equal to 1. We want to solve for k. We have negative 3 plus 2k is greater than or equal to 3. Well, I want to get k by itself, so to move this minus 3 or negative 3, my opposite would be to add 3 on both sides. Over here, that cancels out, leaving me with just 2k is greater than or equal to, and 3 plus 3 gives me 6. To get k by itself, right now it's being multiplied by 2, so my inverse or opposite is to divide by 2. I divided by a positive, so my symbol stays the same, and 6 divided by 2 gives me 3. So k is greater than or equal to 3. Solve for w. I have 1 minus 4w is less than negative 19. Okay, well, I want to get w by itself. Notice this minus is grouped with the 4w. That means this 1 is a positive 1. So to move it to the other side, I'm going to subtract 1. That cancels out. And don't forget your negative. It's not just a 4w, it's a negative 4w. That's less than negative 19 minus 1, which gives us negative 20. And notice negative 4 is next to the w. That means negative 4 times w. So since w is being multiplied by negative 4, my opposite, or inverse, is to divide by negative 4. Now let's pause here for a, just a second. 
because remember we said if we multiply or divide by a negative on both sides of the inequality in our process of solving, we're gonna have to flip the symbol. We're dividing by negative four, so we have to remember to flip our symbol here. Okay, so multiply and divide by negative four cancels out, leaving me with W. We said we're gonna flip our symbol. So it was less than, when I flip it, it becomes greater than. Okay, on the other side, I have negative 20 divided by negative four, that gives me positive five. Remember, a negative divided by a negative gives me a positive. So W is greater than five. Solve for H. Negative three H minus three is less than or equal to negative 18. Okay, so I wanna get H by itself. The first thing I'm gonna do is add three to both sides. On the left side, this cancels. That gives me negative three H is less than or equal to, and be careful with your signs here, negative 18 plus three is gonna give me negative 15. Negative three H means negative three times H. So my opposite or inverse is to divide by negative three. And again, we have to be really careful. Remember, if you multiply or divide by a negative on both sides while you're solving, your symbol is going to flip. Okay, so on the left, multiply and divide by the same number, cancels out, leaving me with H. I'm gonna flip my symbol. So if it was less than or equal to, it's going to become greater than or equal to. And on this side, negative 15 divided by negative three gives me positive five. Remember, a negative divided by a negative gives us a positive number. Four minus three C is greater than four. Okay, now be careful when we look at this. Remember this minus is grouped with the three C. So it's a positive four in front. Four minus three C is greater than four. So since it's a positive four, my opposite is to subtract four on both sides. Okay, I'm canceling it out, and it's not just a three C, make sure you bring that negative down with it, that's a negative three C. All I did was subtract, so my symbol stays the same, and four minus four gives me zero. Now negative three C means the same thing as negative three times C. My opposite from multiplying by a negative three is to divide by a negative three. Multiply and divide by the same number, cancel out, leaving me with C. And again, I divided by a negative number, so I have to remember to flip my symbol. It was greater than, it's gonna become less than, and zero divided by anything is just zero. So C is less than zero. Okay, let's do one more because we have a lot of negatives here. So let's be really careful with our signs while we solve for u. We have negative four u minus four is greater than negative eight. Okay, I wanna get u by itself. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add four on both sides. On the left, that cancels out, leaving me with negative 4u. My symbol stays the same, and negative 8 plus 4 gives me negative 4. Remember that negative 4u is the same as negative 4 times u, so my opposite is to divide by the negative 4. And be really careful, we're dividing by a negative, so please, please remember to flip that symbol. Over here, multiply and divide by the same thing cancel, that gives us just u. When we flip our sign, it was greater than, so it's gonna become less than. And four divided by, negative four divided by negative four is just one. Remember that negative divided by negative becomes a positive. 